everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion lifestyle and beauty so if you are interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video some makeup products from Jay's Beauty Bar and if you're not familiar with Jay's Beauty Bar it is a black owned business on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook and she is also a makeup artist and a licensed esthetician out of South Carolina so I'll be sure to link all of her socials. So I did purchase three lip glosses from her and then she was kind enough to send me over an eyeshadow palette, an eyebrow pencil and a blush to try out so we're going to do that in today's video and, and then I'm going to share with you my opinion about the product. So I've already done like my base makeup for today and it's just something really light. I am wearing the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder and we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes first. So I'm just going to take a little tissue and kind of clean my eyelids and then prime them with some concealer. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that first and I think I'm just going to use this Fenty concealer and this is in the color 385 so let's put a little bit of this on the lid so you really should check out her Instagram and TikTok page because she gives you a tutorial of how to apply her products and then you can get the full effect of how it you know really should look because again I'm no makeup artist. I'm just playing around. I'm definitely a beginner when it comes to this. So I'm pretty sure my techniques and application is not going to be perfect. So if you really want to get the full effect of how the product looks, please, please go over to her channels and check her out. But this is just going to be from a beginner's perspective. So I've already used the products on yesterday and I really love it. I love the fact that it's so user friendly. I was able to just throw this on in like 10 minutes while I was getting ready for it. So I need something that really easy, you know, I don't need to be doing too many steps to apply it because I just don't be having time. I don't have 45 minutes to an hour to do makeup. I just don't have it. And this was perfect to give me like... A really nice look in 10 minutes so so first I'm going to show you a close-up of the products really quickly just so you can get an idea of what it looks like when you receive it so these are the lip glosses and they come in this really nice box like this I love that she has her logo right here it's nice and simple I love that I love a good packaging I feel like if you don't care enough about your products to put it in some really nice packaging then I don't want what's inside I don't want it so I love her packaging and we have one that's open and it comes in a bottle like this and it's just a really pretty nude color it's literally the perfect nude like all you need is this and a really nice chocolate brown lip liner and you have the perfect lip so I wear this almost every single day and this is in the shade the baddest and so it just has a twist top like this and then here you have the applicator and the product is really creamy it's not sticky at all it doesn't really have a smell to it but it's just a really nice formula a really nice lip gloss I love this stuff so I have this I have this one and then I have two others for backup and she sent over this eyebrow pencil which is really really skinny it kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil by how skinny it is and it has and it has the little spoolie on the end and the best part about it is the twist top so you don't have to worry about sharpening it so that is a great feature when it comes to an eyebrow pencil and it's really really skinny and you would think that it would break easily but it doesn't like I've already used this about three times and it hasn't broken off yet so very sturdy very precise I love and then she sent over this eyeshadow palette and it has her logo on the front and when you open it up 
these are the colors and then you have your mirror right here which mine is covered up so that is the eyeshadow palette and then she also sent over a blush i believe she said this is um a sample um is not out on the website yet she's just trying it out so she sent me a sample of it and these are the colors that are inside so you have like your uh, fuchsia pink and then you have a lighter pink so we're going to play in this and see what look we can come up with so i've done my concealer now we're going to grab a brush and start with this eye look so I'm just cleaning off the brush a little bit because I think I did use it. So we're just going to wipe it off to make sure there's no extra product on the brush. Let's, you know, move our hair out of the way. So we can have no obstruction when we're trying to do our eyes. So bring you in a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's so I have my brush and then we're going to start with a color in the crease and I'm going to go with this color here in the middle. So let's pick up a little bit of that and I love that um, it's not so messy. It's really easy to apply. It's not too messy because I really hate when I get a really nice makeup and it comes in really nice packaging like this but then you start to use it and it gets all messy i hate that that's why i really don't be using my makeup that much because i be wanting it to stay pretty <laughs> i don't want to mess it up so i need to get out of that i need to just use the makeup because why is it sitting in the drawer or on my vanity looking pretty like that is not its purpose it needs to look pretty on my face so I need to be more intentional about planning this makeup. And then they say practice makes perfect. So I really need to be spending time to practice so that I can get this down. Now we're going to clean the brush off again and go into another color. Hey, ask me how do I clean my brushes? Just ask me. Girl, in the washing machine. I wash my brushes in the washing machine because I don't have time to be sitting at the sink washing these brushes one by one. Like, who has time to do that? Not me. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. I put all of my brushes in like a drawstring bag, throw them in the washing machine by themselves on delicate for like 25 minutes with regular laundry detergent. I use Gain. 25 minutes, they're done. I'll take them out. I'll check them out. Most of them are all clean except for maybe like my foundation brush. Those I may have to go in at the sink um, with a little extra work to get those extremely clean. But for the most part, all of my brushes be clean and I just lay them out and let them air dry. Like That is, this, that is how I clean my brushes. Yes. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying that's what I do. So if you try it and you just happen to mess up your very expensive brushes, don't blame me because I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you what I do. And plus my brushes come from Amazon. So anyway, back to this eyeshadow. Let's see what color we want to go in with next. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Oh, that's pretty. The colors are so pretty. Like, look. That is the first application and it's all already there. Like I didn't even have to do too much. Didn't even have to do too much. So let's go in again. Just because we want to deepen it a little bit. We really want it to pop. Okay. And then let's do the other eye. I think she also offers like one-on-one -on -one sessions if you wanted to get some lessons i really need to do that i mean i would prefer to be in person because like i need you in my face i need you in my face telling me step by step what to do you know what i'm saying so you can be like no blend 20 more seconds or you know just i need you to tell me what to do exactly and like be standing in front of me so but yeah I can't wait until I'm in her city so I can have that one-on-one -on -one time with her. 
but she does a great job when she's showing like the tutorials on her channel i'd be watching but like I don't know how to follow directions. She'd be like, blend, blend, blend. And I'm like, okay, I'm done blending. Is that good? You know, I'm so, I'm so impatient. I need to work on that. Okay, so we're cleaning off the brush again. I think this is really pretty. I like it. I like it. So now we're going to go in with this color. Pink. So we're going to grab some of that and then we're just going to go in the inner corner and like and kind of brighten that up a little bit just a little bit right in the inner corner we don't want to take it over too far Do the other side okay then i think i want to smoke out the outer corners so we're going to take a different brush Let's grab a different brush and then we're gonna go in with this darker color right here and just get a little bit of that first and then go in the outer corner and just sweep that in like this a little bit more How's that look? Let me know in the comments. How am I doing? How am I doing? So try to do the same thing on this side. Perfect, perfect. So we're gonna take our other brush to clean off a little bit more and like sweep away any fallout. not much but just a little bit just wipe that away okay I think we're on to something now just because it's in here and we're playing around I want to see what this color looks like like what is that going to add to my look so I'm going to get a different brush Let's see if we can find a clean fluffy brush all right we have our clean fluffy brush and we're going to go in with this color right here and i probably could use my finger i probably should use my finger but i think my nails are too long and i don't want to poke myself in the eye so we're going to use this brush and then we're just going to pat this all over the eye oh it's pretty so it's basically like glitter and it gives you a little sparkle okay let's do that for the other eye Okay, now we're going to do the brows. I probably should have done that first, but we're going to do it now. And I'm just going to take the spoolie and brush them up. I actually have my brows micro shaded, so I typically don't apply brow products to them because I feel like they look perfect the way that they are. And I chose to get my brows micro shaded because... I'm just not good at doing brows. Like, I can't shape them correctly. They just look crazy. And I have really, really bushy, curly brows. So it requires some work. And again, I don't have the patience. So I was like, you know what? I want to wake up with my brows done. So I invested in this micro shading. And I love it. I love it. So I don't think I need to do too much with this. But we're just going to take it and just twist it up. I love this. I'm just going to start in the center and fill in any sparse areas. And then when we get to the tail part, we're just going to sharpen that up a little bit. 
make it a little bit longer and then we'll come back to the front and then just add a couple of strokes in the front but see how easily it just add the strokes because the tip is so tiny so you can get it exactly where you want it so i'll do the same on this side i hope you can see it and then see how light my tip is right here we're just going to darken that a little bit see that And then just add a couple more strokes here at the front. So bring it in. Perfect. And then we'll take our brush and just blend all of that in so it doesn't look like a crayon on my face. Yep. So quick and easy. Love that love that i love this brow pencil i'm definitely going to purchase another one of those because i need to have that in my collection okay so i think that is the eyes so what i like to do with my eyes is also add a little shadow at the bottom um lash so we're gonna take a brush flat brush i'm gonna go into this dark shade again and just apply that on the bottom lash line. And do the same on the other side. I don't know, I just like that look. Yes, I love that look. Okay, and then this is a different product, but I just like adding this to my inner corner because I feel like my eyes are so squinty and for the most part, they always look like they're closed and I think and I think this kind of brightens up the inner eye and make them look a little wider. I don't know. It probably doesn't, but in my mind it does. So I'm just going to take this Jaclyn Hill highlighter and put it in the inner corner of my eye. Yes, just to brighten it up a little bit. Do the same for the other eye. Perfect. Perfect. I love that. Okay. So, we've done our eyes. Let's top it off with some mascara. We're gonna use the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. And do just a couple. Also do falsies. She does sell lashes too on her website. So she has everything that you need. Everything that you need. So, that is our eye look. I think the palette is very nice. I love the colors. I love all of the colors, actually. I will use every single one of these colors on my face. It is beautiful. I love how this came out. I love how this came out. So, now we're going to take the blush that she gave me let's grab a brush and this is in the cream consistency so we're gonna take some of that um we're gonna take some of the fuchsia pink and go on the cheeks i don't want to do too much because i don't be doing blush like that so i want to make sure i don't mess up and do too much so i'm just gonna take a little bit right hope you can see it i can see it and i love the way that it looks so i hope it's coming off on camera yeah i really like it i really like that so i'm gonna take a different brush and just kind of blend it out I hope 
you guys can see that it's so pretty so pretty so that is the blush i probably could have done a little more but like i said we're going to stay safe stay in a safe zone and we're going to stop there so now i'm going to just and i'm only wiping my lips because i had some lip gloss on earlier which was by jay's beauty bar but we're going to wipe that off and reapply so that you can see how it looks when it's freshly done so i'm gonna go back in with the mac prep and prime for my lips because i don't want them to be dry and then i am using these and then i am using these sephora molasses chocolate brown lip liner which is also a twist top love that and we're gonna line the lip So our lips are lined. Now we're going in with the lip gloss. We're going to use the baddest. That is what this one is called. It's a really pretty nude. Look at that. Just glides on. glass on it's not sticky at all it's just perfection so this is our finished look So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me apply my new makeup products and hearing my thoughts on them. And I hope that you will go over to her platform and check out all of her photos and her products. If you have any questions, please leave those down in the comment section below. But before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.